Hello, Fruit Forces Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I want to talk about a topic that I think is important. It's not a trend I'm jumping into with this. All these people love to report on Amber Heard and, and Johnny Depp, but I want to look at is a warning to the Me Too movement and making false accusations to try to promote yourself. So I hope you sit and enjoy the video. All right, Fruit Force, we're in the midst of this time still. We're hearing Me Too's and things like that. And I think this should be a warning shot. You think some of these people in the comic book industry would learn a lesson or two from this, as we've been hearing about already. In all kinds of facets, way to get ahead is to use the Me Too game. Blame somebody for doing something. And unfortunately, we're in a world where you're in the, in the eyes of the public, you're guilty until proven innocent. And this might be a warning shot to what might happen. Here we have an article, and it's a... Uh, here we go. I'm not, I don't normally read The Guardian, but here it is. It says, Hollywood comes to the high court for Johnny Depp face-off. It says, the fusty confines of London's high court get the Hollywood treatment this week when it considers a blockbuster libel action. And here's evidence from major movie stars. If you aren't familiar, you're living under a rock. He, uh, Johnny Depp was accused of being a wife beater to his wife, Amber Heard. So Johnny Depp's claim against the son over allegations that he was violent towards his ex-wife, Amber Heard, at 34 years, uh, uh, 34 years old, allegations he vehemently, he denies these absolutely and has been more than two years in gestation. If you haven't been following... Pretty much Amber Heard's case is falling to pieces about this, and it looks like maybe she beat on him some, if anything. But I'm not going to speculate too much. I'm not picking sides. This is not something I follow a lot. But my whole point is this. We're living in a time now where the media and everything jumps on the second a guy supposedly hits a woman or, or whatever. We got this Me Too without any proof, and it could potentially ruin lives. Like we're seeing it with Mag Sasagio, supposedly was... Me too, you know, she was groomed or the biggest lie. And why is Max Visaggio doing that? Well, Max Visaggio, which was a, is a trans and was a man who was never getting, he was never getting work, it seems like, in the comic industry. So became trans, now is a minority. So I, I think they pushed the minority card. And now he, she, whatever you want to say, I'm not trying to be a phobe or anything. You just, you know, take it the way you will. Uh, now claims that she was mistreated and was groomed and it was just baloney it's like they're using the me too as a platform and i and i hope they take take stock in this and look at this before it's trying to ruin somebody's life just to increase their career potential because that's what they do they ruin people's lives to increase careers so the 57 year old actor is suing the sun's publisher news group newspapers ngn and its executive director dan wooden over a 2018 article which referred to the star as as a, they referred to referred to Johnny Depp as a wife beater. Now think about that. How how's that going to do to your career? That's going to be a career demolisher in Hollywood. And this Me Too thing has been absolutely devastating. And the problem is with that is they don't really require proof. As long as a woman says it, automatically the man is guilty. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't listen to the woman, shouldn't investigate. By all means, investigate. Please do. I don't want anybody beating anybody. But to jump on the bandwagon and call somebody guilty before any proof seems to be a consistent pattern of ruining somebody's life before we actually got any proof otherwise now granted I'm, i know the guy's a drunk right and so who knows what he did it could have but once again it should be looked into so anyway a, he was called a wife beater an article under the headline gone potty how can J. Carr rowlings be generally happy casting wife beater johnny depp in the new fantastic beast film so notice that too is it's not just enough to attack that person but you cannot employ them anybody employs them you are automatically guilty of something terrible too even though there was no proof actors are getting canceled from projects without any proof until without the investigation people are now in the comic book industry are losing their jobs without any proof and i'm not saying they didn't do it okay i'm saying i think we need to be a little more careful we see it in the wrestling world too uh, wrestlers are getting removed from their jobs. Usually they get suspended for a time period until afterwards, but sometimes they're just out getting fired now because of this. So people are ruining people's careers for petty reasons, jealousy reasons, career motivation reasons, everything else. All you have to do is say something. But maybe when the pendulum swings back and, if, and things are proved not to happen, there's going to be some repercussions from that. Like this, this getting sued over this article. So anyway, we wouldn't question why the author was content for the actor to appear in the latest movie to be sh to be hewn for the Harry Potter franchise. 
that the case, which was due to start in March, but was delayed because of COVID, which is delayed about everything there. All right, so in here we have in quotes, uh, the costs that each side will incur tend to be pretty significant, explained Emily Cox, partner in the Media Disputes Division of Law Firm, students who suggest both parties could quite easily end up spending, as you see here, a lot of money in the corner. Just so you know, it's very important though, the loser pays winner's cost in, in this jurisdiction, but you don't tend to recover all your costs. The reasonable case, best case is you would get 70% of your cost back. So no matter what, uh, everybody has potential to lose. So even if the if you're innocent, you're still going to be out money. So anyway, without with all out right here, he's you know he's suing back. I think we're going to start seeing the pendulum swing back. People are going to say enough's enough. You're going to come at me. I'm going to defend myself, and I'm right. It's going to come back to you, and I'm going to sue you for publishing this stuff. I think this is good in a way because I you know the media tends to like to jump and throw headlines at that at all costs and, and don't give a crap about whose life they may be ruining now could it be true yes and i understand being media they want to be the first one they want to get the scoop they want to get the story but they love to call themselves journalists journalists but aren't journalists supposed to get the facts before reporting and that's one of the areas we're running into that's just bull crap today it's no longer facts it's who can get the information out there first whether it be right or wrong without any real fact checking. Once again, I'm not saying anybody's right in this case or wrong in this case, who's guilty and who is not. That is not my place, nor do I have enough interest or desire to. But my point is this, people are getting their careers ruined because of petty reasons or reasons to try to get their careers up. Like Sean Gordon Murphy, as I said, is under fire by none other than Max Visaggio. What's supposed to be realistic? Look him up if you're not familiar with that story. There is no way that Sean Gordon Murphy was grooming Mag Sasagio, okay? Let alone, Mag Sasagio has nothing to give in return to to Sean, Sean Gordon Murphy. He's built his career, he's built his success, where Mag's had absolutely nothing. So she has, or he, she, once again, whatever you want to call her, uh, has only to gain, and Sean Gordon Murphy had nothing to gain on this. It's just being used for career moves, for attention, to get even, in a lot of cases. And once again, there is cases that it's true, by all means, you know, I hope those get taken care of and taken care of properly. But I hope, and I really do hope, that the social, the people in the social media groups, the public in general, the supposed journalists and all that, get their crap together and quit ruining people's lives because they just report on things without the facts and always assume one thing over another. For example, like, a woman can't beat a man. Only a man would ever beat a woman, right? Or only a white guy can be racist or whatever it is because we start needing the truth. Unfortunately, we're, we're sitting there and tearing people's careers down just to be the first one to get that click. Well, that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Uh, what do you think? Who do you think is guilty in this case? And um, what do you think is going to happen next? Do you think this stuff like this will maybe start helping rear back this craziness we've been going to and, and start getting it back into reality again? Only time will tell. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it frugal.